Hello. Hello. Yes. Uh, hi, Christian Prince. Uh, you may not remember me, but I called you in October. <coughs> I was a Muslim. Right. I remember. Uh, you remember me? I think. Uh, let me see, because there's many people they call themselves the same name. Yeah, I see. Uh, yeah, I see your text. You are the one who said to me, "You are paid by the Jews." <laughs> yeah. Actually, All right. Yes, Thank you very much. Here we go. This is okay, but this text is is uh, uh, okay. So now, what happened? Why you decide? Why now you are saying to me? I see another text from you saying, "I am sorry for saying you you preach hate. I am leaving Islam." So what happened? Uh, yeah, actually, I left Islam at that day only when I sent you this text. So oh, this is right old, now, this is, now this is an old text. I see this is an old text. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. So I am I am uh, going to leave, leave my country, Pakistan. All right. Well, don't say where are you, my friend. Just be careful. Yeah. No. Actually, they lots of people are having my same name, so they don't know me, but. Actually, it is a big issue, you know. Apostasy is a big, uh, big problem. If they find out, then they will kill me. Yeah, Actually, just, you just know, the careful. funny just, thing is. Just be careful, hello. my friend. Just be careful. Don't share your information with anyone. And maybe you can leave the country. Let me ask uh, you. you know did, 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 let me yeah. ask you. Did, did you think or consider to be a Christian? Yeah, I'm a Christian. You became a Christian now? No, I not, uh, not, I, but, I saw your videos. And, okay, are you thinking uh, about accepting uh, the Messiah? You know, for me, it's very important not only to make you be saved because saving you from Islam does not save you yet. You are not done. My, for me, uh, saving you is you reaching the right place, which is to believe in the Messiah, the Christ, as your savior. So as long you agree that Islam is a false religion, and you are the one who accused me to preach hate before, but now you discover I'm not preaching hate and I'm trying to help you. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I That's was, all right. Uh, I, I now I offer you the name of my Lord, which is the best of the best, which is the King of Kings, which is the wise of wise, and no one is like him. He is the best of the best, and I invite you to accept his name as your Lord and as your Savior forever. I already accepted him. Do you accept him? That's wonderful. Yes. The, yeah, already I have I watched your videos and David Wood's video and all right, a lot, a lot about. I'm happy for you. I'm so glad that you, uh, uh, you, you decide to leave this cult. And I see that in your text you are saying that you said to me when you said to me you are preaching hate, and then right like after that you change your mind. So what what is the most important video you watch of mine made you like get to the final decision that Islam must be a cult. What I say to you at that time, when you are watching, uh, uh, you you said something about that uh, Muhammad, uh, Muhammad, you know, copied about Blackstone. Uh, I know actually Hindus do believe Blackstone in Shiva. They have Shiva, Shiva God, and they also have that Blackstone. They yeah. also do circle. You know, they also uh, walk in circle. So it is all a ritual. I researched about it, mm -hmm. and you already. Uh, told about Blackstone, and the second thing is about uh, that uh, Varka, Varka, mm -hmm. his uh, uncle. He after he died, he stopped, stopped receiving that revelation. So then oh. I knew that yeah, this is completely false. He's, I mean, to that brother. Stopped. Well, my friend, I have a brother. His name is Sam Shamoon. I don't know if you have his page in YouTube. You can go and visit his page, and if you need any question about Christianity, I'm sure he would be happy. This is his specialty, you know. He teaches the Bible; he's a Bible teacher. You can ask him, and he will be happy to help you. Maybe somebody can post for you uh, the YouTube of uh, Brother Sam Shamoon. He's a wonderful man, and you can go and learn from him any question you have. Yeah, and actually, you know the the most funny thing. <laughs> uh, my my parents think that I have Shaitan in my body. That is why I'm not, uh, you know, um, I'm not going to mosque and uh following the mom yeah well, they think i they will they will you know you, you see if if the if your parents they say to you that you have a shaitan in your body tell them what's wrong with having shaitan in my body if the prophet himself used to have a shaitan isn't it muhammad who say in the hadith that he have a shaitan and he sh his shaitan command him to do good you know what mm. i mean have you ever heard this before yeah i saw in your video that see? Uh, so, you 
that so he said that uh, even if somebody accuses you show them how hypocrite they are how you reject that I have shaitan just because I left Islam but Muhammad have shaitan is not a problem and his shaitan his command him how can how he can be a prophet and he receive command from the devil and he confirmed that I actually showed you one of your video to my mom and he said that he will debate you but uh, even now he has not yet called you right his name was Mustafa Sheikh something Mustafa Sheikh? Well, I don't know. Mustafa. I did not. What? Mustafa Sheikh. Mustafa. M U S T A F I K. F I Q. I don't remember anyone calling me. Anyway, I ask him if he is there around you. If the, you know, ask him to call me. I will be happy to have him. Uh, I don't. I don't know why I he has not yet called. I I have told about this two months ago. He has not yet called out. Mm, maybe he watched a little bit and then he said to himself, "Uh oh, I will be spanked. I better not to call." <laughs> I think it will be a language problem for I don't know. I will. I am here for whoever can call me. I, you know, um, I don't say no to anyone. I give Muslims all the opportunity to call me. I don't care if you are sheikh or you are just a kid. You know, I will talk to you based on who you are. I don't. I don't speak in a high level standard of uh, of uh, of knowledge with someone. He is, uh, you know, not much. I speak, you know, I speak with the kid as a kid. I speak with the adult as an adult. As simple as that. And the point is, we cannot we cannot discuss uh, deep information with someone who don't have the capability of, of understanding them. So we better speak to him in the way he understood things and he in the way he is able to comprehend. And that's what I do. Yeah. And, and you know, here we go. We are here. Where is the Muslims who want to call us and get us busted? Uh, Eagle Christian, please. I want to ask you about that uh, black, that black stone that someone stole him, and they uh, seated on that black stone. And is that story uh, story true? Yes, actually, there's a video about it. I have it in YouTube. Search in YouTube. I, I am the one who made the translation for it. A sheikh he was t talking about Al Qurmuti, who was screaming in the middle of the Kaaba after he destroyed it, and he took the black stone, and he was saying to Allah, "Where is your birds?" Because the Quran. In the chapter of the elephants speak that Allah he sent his birds to fight an army of elephants which an army of Christians came to destroy the Kaaba so in that story he was speaking about it and how the guy he took the black stone for more than 21 years and by the way the Muslim now didn't have the black stone no more they're trying to resemble the shape of the black stone if you go in the black stone let me see if I can show you that if you go to the black stone I will search in Google Try to find a picture of a, clo a close by picture. Uh, <clears throat> okay, and Hajar Aswad. It is a small, tiny stones left over of the original black stone, and they glue it together by wax let me see if i can get a close capture we need to find a more clear actually here we go actually this is my this is the picture i made <laughs> look you see the pictures i made they are in the internet now here we go okay if you look here with me in the screen yeah actually maybe if i um let us see if we can zoom more you will see that the black stone is not a black stone no more there is little tiny stones and the rest is wax the rest is wax you see them so yeah they put wax to complete the shape of the black stone which is used to be before like this but now they don't have it and here the question is if Allah he put the black stone and to be there until the judgment day how Allah could not protect the black stone and now we have little tiny pieces and the Muslim they are kissing it and licking it the fact they are not licking the black stone they are licking the wax which is something they do always to the uh, black stone I, I made a video actually about it about doing maintenance to the black stone they do maintenance every every month what is the maintenance they do touch up for the wax which is gone by the by uh, uh by people touching it 
otherwise the stones will come out you can steal those stones you can take them off they are stone they are small stones they are it's not it's not a piece it's not a it's not a big stone it's a small tiny stones I think it's eight stones left and uh, uh, this is what the Muslims have okay yeah yeah I, I, I saw this one I actually this one only I told you that so it looked like some they copied the this from other religions you see here like they, here they make they make a like a do you see guys the the image here somebody made the resembling for them do you see there is there is oh, let us see how many I think they are eight uh eight yeah eight small stones see it? yeah I guess. yeah this is what is left of the stone so what they are kissing they are kissing the walks and here in the so picture they are making it look bigger but the fact they are small really small yeah this is not the original one no they are not uh, because there's no proof that this is the original anyway you know the Muslims they had to pay they had to pay for uh, al Qurmuti to get the black stone back mm. you see it here we go look how small guy do you see this is when they are doing maintenance to it look at this one let us highlight them one let us see let us make an arrow so this is one this is two this is a three this is four this is five this is six this is seven and this is eight so i was right it is it's eight stones that's it and six, eight, small, this is what is left of uh, this is what is left of Allah <laughs> and this is the original one this is what is left of Allah's stone I mean what, what a joke no I mean this is the original one this no they, they, cl they claim they claim that those stones they are from the original but if you notice they are different color like if you look with me here that this one doesn't look the same color as the other one you see here this one this one is dark black right and this one is kind of white yeah so uh, what do we have today this this one this is all this is all artificial this is all stupid this is big in any way i mean what even if the stone is there or not who care but as you see even that stone which muslim they claim that allah he sent is not is, is gone there's nothing left of it few tiny pieces and the muslims are licking it and touching it which means by two or three hundred from years years from now there's nothing will be left as long as they are exposed <laughs> to people to touch them by time they will they will, they will be gone uh, i wish mm -hmm. i can show you how they do because uh, if, uh, i'm afraid if i play the video of uh, the maintenance they do to the black stone but you can search for it in, in youtube you will see how they do maintenance to black stone every month there's a, okay, uh, there's, a there's a guy there's a professional guy from Pakistan. He is the one who do the maintenance for the black stone. He put wax, which is called the amber. You know amber, amber. Okay, that's why it looked dark in color. It's it's expensive wax, very expensive wax. This is not something cheap, you know. So what do they say? Maintenance of the huh? Maintenance of the of the black stone, what whatever left of the black stone, let us say. So they have to do maintenance for it every month. To, to fix uh, uh, the damage for the wax and as you yeah, see it I... is and as you see it is in the shape of a vagina we showing miracle of that stone. <laughs> yeah anyway my friend thank you for calling I'm so happy for you that you left Islam and you became a Christian if you have any question for me please let me know all right no thank you for okay. take care God bless you Pardon? See, he said to me, you preach hate. He hated me first. <laughs> this is a very normal response. I always hear from Muslims, but later they leave Islam. And you will notice how the tone of the man changed. Look, this guy, he called me before. Maybe we can go, if somebody can go and find his call before, you will see that the right, right away when someone leaves Islam, his, his, the tone of his voice changed. The anger, the evil, it goes. Look how peaceful he is. He's peaceful, he is happy, he is comfort, he is in his comfort zone. 
He don't feel angry. He's not possessed by the devil of Islam. Right away, something will change inside you. It's not just you see when we when we became a Christian, it's not about just okay. I believe in Christ. There is something will change on you. The aggressive will be peaceful. The criminal will be an, like like an, he will act like an angel. And for sure, we are talking about somebody truly he believe in Christ, not somebody by name. Otherwise, there's many people they wear a cross, but they are criminals. Actually, they wear the cross to insult Jesus. The same as we see, like you know, many people they, they they dress wearing a cross, but the fact they are wearing clothes it's far away from Christ. It's just a decoration for them. Do we have any Muslim? Who is a Muslim? Only Muslim, please call me. I don't want to take a call from Christians. Only if you are a Muslim or you left Islam. Anyone? And as you see, this is what is left of Islam or the, the stone of Allah. That's it. This is what is left. What is that? And what 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 is this religion is about? Look here, here this guy is doing the the maintenance. Look, look, you see this picture? You see he have a he have a flame. What they call it, the machine, the one with the with the with the with the gas. He have the flame to burn the wax to melt it to to make it work around the the stone. Here we go. Look, look, look. Here we go. We found some pictures. Do you see? Do you see, guys? This is the maintenance they do to the black stones, because the black stone will disappear if they don't fix it. Look, they are doing the fixing. Look. Look at this. If the black stone is holy and Allah He sent it, why Allah don't do the fixing? <laughs> why Allah don't preserve the stone? Rahim is coming from the warned womb, yes. From Rahim. Do you see it? Why, why if this is a stone sent by Allah, why we need to, to do maintenance to it? Allah will do the maintenance. This is his stone. And those are the stones. Look here. This picture is perfect. You can see it better. Is it showing you guys more? Is this one showing you more? Look at this one here. Do you see the real stones? The rest is amber, which is amber in English, I think. It's an expensive material, which is taken, I think, from the, supposedly from the whale or from the deer uh, uh, testicles. This is what this is what the black stone is. There's no black stone. It's a joke. It is a joke. This is what you are kissing? You stupid people. Are you are you are you serious? They fool you, they bring you all the way from Pakistan to kiss this. Dr. Zakanaik, when you are going to go to Hajj, but the tata, they're the person. He named the Christian prince, and they already made fun of the black stone. First of all, the black stone is the holy stone. And brother, if you get a close to it, it smells like perfume. And this is additional proof that the black stone is from God. Otherwise, what smells so good? You put wax around it, made it from amber. Amber smell good, you idiot liar. You are not kissing a stone. This is amber. You see how much amber? All of this is amber. What a pagan religion and then they say to you they say to us we christians they say we are pagan we don't worship stones we don't kiss stones once a muslim said to me do you kiss a cross let us say somebody he kiss a cross but this is not really from a christianity why you need to kiss a cross anyway but let's say you kiss a cross at least the cross is symbolic for what jesus did you are kissing the stone for what reason and a stone in the shape of a vagina 
and a stone reported that the Arab before you used to put their hand the women they used to put their hand in their vagina when they have their period and they place their hand inside the stone asking the God of fertility to fertilize their private part the silver is is the shape is the is a shape of a vagina you see in the old days they used to do the same but now they, because they got money they 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 make it uh, this is not silver this is i think uh, uh white gold mostly maybe i'm not sure from what it's made but uh, uh but the shape is not something the muslims they came with this is how it used to be before but after they lost the real stone the muslims are trying to resemble the old, the, the old stone you know what i mean the old black stone which is in the shape you see is gone this is the original shape it's gone as you see there's a few pieces left so now to resemble those stones they use wax they use the frame to make it look like in the, the way it used to be Do we have any Abdul black stone kisser? <laughs> hey Muhammad, how are you? <laughs> Hello. Yes, Muhammad. What do you want to say to us? Yeah, you deceived the other guy. Uh, you said the Qibla was uh, invented by Umar, hmm. but it doesn't say Qibla. It says uh, Maqam Ibrahim. Okay, so what Maqam is, Ibrahim okay, what is okay, hold on, hold on. The, so so you, do you agree that Maqam Ibrahim is the direction of the prayer? No, it's not the direction of the prayer. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's the it's the place where Ibrahim and Islam stood, and then he built the Kaaba. Okay. And so, so this is the Kaaba. So Maqamu Ibrahim is the Kaaba, isn't it? Ibrahim Maqam supposedly Ibrahim is, is the one who raised the 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 walls of the Kaaba. Maqam Ibrahim is not the Kaaba. That's very. What uh, is what is Maqamu Ibrahim? What is Maqamu, what is Maqamu Ibrahim? Maqam Ibrahim is somewhere. It's the station where he stood on. That's that's what it is. The station, okay. The yeah. station he stood on. What is that a station? Um, it was a. Uh, it was. I think it's a rock or something. And then he stood on it, and then he okay. built the Kaaba. Does the, does the Quran say is take from the station of Abraham as a place to worship? Yes or no? Uh, say it again. Sorry. Does the Quran say is take the station of Abraham as a place to worship? Yes or no? Uh, it says what the Hindu in Maqam Ibrahim Musalla take as a place of uh, prayer. Okay, what is that? That's near the Kaaba. It's not the Kaaba. It's okay, the... so are you saying before that nobody was was praying near the Kaaba, right? They pray near the Kaaba. You, you, you what, what's happening hold is on, that hold, you on, hold on, hold you on, hold on, hold on. No, if 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 <laughs> Abraham, if Abraham was standing near the Kaaba, was praying in which direction? When he was building, he was a praying, was he? This is another question. Abraham was standing near the Kaaba, you said, and he was a praying. He was a praying in which direction? He was a praying at the time of building. This is another question. He was a praying in which direction? When? Which direction he was a praying near the Kaaba? Where? Who is facing what? He's just facing the Kaaba. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, what are you, you haven't made any so you are saying Kaaba. you are saying he did not ask them to face the Kaaba, but it, it just do what Abraham do and face the Kaaba. No, I'm saying you quoted the hadith. In the hadith, you said that Umar Dian who yes. said face the Kaaba, which was incorrect. Umar Dian never said uh, uh, I want to face the Kaaba. He had a desire that people pray uh, at the place where Ibrahim and Islam stood. That's okay. what, and what is that? That's what does that mean? Are you saying to me, but that means nobody used to pray there in the time of uh, where Abraham he stood, right? Yeah, no one uh, had a specific place like that uh, to pray. Mm. There's no specific Read carefully place. the verse with me. So, this is the verse. Read the verse for me. One minute. Let me open uh, YouTube. <laughs> Uh, 
uh, and mention when we made the house a place of return for the people mm. and a place of security and take from the standing of uh, place of Ibrahim a place of prayer. Okay. And we charge, yeah. So is it about the Kaaba? No, this is uh, regarding the Muqam Ibrahim. No, hold on. No, it says, and we made the house. What house? Yeah, that, he's talking about that's okay, about and he's quoting like, this verse. You crazy? The uh, uh, the the hadith saying this verse about the the place of Abraham. It is my words. So all of this is what the man, his name Omar, he said. Maqam Ibrahim is the verse which he is quoting. He is not quoting the whole verse. He is quoting the, the whole. The, he's quoting a sentence to tell you which exactly he is speaking about. So this is what he meant, and before that, the Muslims was praying to which direction, if you don't mind to say? Um, what do you mean? They, they already prayed? Before this time. verse came, the Muslims were praying in which direction? They already uh, prayed to the Kaaba already. No, they were praying verse. to Jerusalem. No, 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 no. In Allah says in Surah Baqarah, Allah says, "Qad nara taqalluba wajhika fi sama." Okay. We have seen you facing the after that. That's the time when uh, the Kaaba was changed. The Kibla was changed. Your Prophet was praying to Jerusalem in until what year? Until um, um, I think it was yeah, it was when after the migration. Okay, you are saying after to me this is in, happened in the chapter of Al Baqarah, right? Yes, yeah, Surah Baqarah. Yeah. Okay, isn't it, this is Al Baqarah too? Uh, yeah, this is yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, so 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 it's the same. So Allah, Muhammad is confused where he to pray, and this is funny. Why he is confused about where to pray? And Muhammad was praying to Jerusalem. Can you tell me why Muhammad praying to Jerusalem? Uh, that was Qibla. Was, uh, no, no, show me, where, show me the verse that says, Hey, Muhammad, pray to Jerusalem. The Prophet knew already from Revelation. How he knew? How he knew? Okay, show me, show me where he got he knew. Like, I knew. Okay, when I say I knew, I'm a man, I'm a human, I'm not God. Where Allah says to Muhammad, pray direction of Jerusalem. We know from the hadith where the Prophet said that he used to face uh, Jerusalem. I know that. This is another question. Where yeah, he knew? No, no, this is tradition from who? From the Jews? Uh, of course, Allah revealed the revelation to the Go ahead, Jews as well. In the okay, show me where, where Allah revealed to Muhammad to pray to the to uh, to Jerusalem. Yeah, just by the mere fact that he was praying, that shows that was revelation. Okay. He already hold knew. on, oh, guys. Muhammad he prayed to Jerusalem, but he did not need a revelation from God. So why he's God? He has it in his knowledge. That's it. What do you mean he had in his knowledge? Muhammad is born with knowledge about revelation. No, Allah reveals to him knowledge. Okay, as long as he revealed to him knowledge, where, how he revealed it? He gave him Quran. The Quran is not the only knowledge Allah okay. reveals to him. When Allah revealed to him, he revealed to him what words or he what revealed to him? The, not just the knowledge, sometimes he reveals so the knowledge. knowledge is like he smells something coming from Jerusalem, he starts sniffing and he starts, he decides to go towards. When you say knowledge, what does that mean? You don't know knowledge me. Okay, I know I do not know because you are saying to me knowledge is not Quran, knowledge is not Allah speaking to him, knowledge is not Jibreel telling him because it has to be one of those. Show me where knowledge. it says, show me where the knowledge, how he received the knowledge, and where you get this conclusion from. What confusing? You think I confused? My friend, as long you are saying to me he have a knowledge. Where Muhammad he got the knowledge? You said from Allah. How Allah said the knowledge to him. However, he sent it. That's it. How, how? It does not well, well, my concern. Well, isn't it the Quran says "Wama huwa illa wahyun yuha," which means everything is inspiration. So it has to be Quran. No, everything is not Quran. Obviously, it's, not, uh, we also for sure hadith. not everything is Quran. As an example, Umar bin Khattab he made Quran. So there's many Quran. This is not the question. Muhammad received knowledge from who? Did Allah speak to him? Um. Yeah, so Allah, Allah told him, Allah knew, uh, Allah told him that like, He gave him the knowledge to, somehow. Either it could be through a dream, it could be through. Okay, show me uh, the story. Or... Don't tell me could be. Don't, don't tell me. Do you do you believe in religion of could be, or you believe in religion of for sure? 
Yeah, I'm saying this information. Okay, don't tell me. Don't, so then tell me then it could be. No, no, don't, not, don't no, tell me. I'm saying it doesn't matter. It doesn't no, no, matter. no, 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 it, no. It does matter. I'm asking you a question. Why, in, why this, does it this is about God. If somebody, what if somebody fabricating a story does not exist? So when you say it doesn't matter, that's mean it doesn't matter if Muhammad is a prophet or not. It doesn't matter if he's saying the truth or not. It doesn't matter. So when you say Muhammad was praying to Jerusalem, should you ask yourself why he prayed to Jerusalem and where Allah he said that to him? I already told you the hadith says that that used to be the Qibla. So the Prophet already told us. He told that why Qibla. it used to be the Qibla? This is the question. You are not giving the answer. Why it used to be? Yeah, why it used to be the Qibla? What is the exactly? What is the reason? It was, um, it was a mosque that was built by um, uh, one of the Prophets. Hmm. Okay, let me show you something. Do you see my screen? Uh, yeah, one minute. Okay. <clears throat> oh, you who believe the idolaters only are unclean, so let them not come near the hmm. invariable uh, place of worship after this is it there. Yeah. If you fear poverty, Allah shall preserve you. So, yeah, what about that? Okay. What happened after that? The, what do you mean? No, no, no non Muslim cannot enter the Mac Mecca, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Which year Muhammad he controlled Mecca? Which year uh, he controlled it? Yeah. Um, I think it's nine years after he did or ten years. Or what? Did give me a year. What, what year? What year? Nine years after Hijri. Okay, and uh, for how long after that Muhammad he left? He he, he did leave. According, according, according to you. I can't hear you properly. I'm saying Muhammad, he did attack Mecca and he supposedly been victorious. Right? No, he went. He went to conquer it, okay. and they all like most okay. of them. They so were, until until they, they, then, they didn't all right. Did this verse came right away after he took Mecca, or it took some time? Uh, I don't know. It might came after. I don't know. Before that time, Muhammad was praying in which direction? He was already praying um, towards towards the uh, Kaaba. Show me the reference. So the uh, Masjid Qibla, uh, Qibla, Qibla my friend, that is in my, fr my friend, my friend, don't tell me the Qibla Tain. What Qibla Tain? Show me the reference where, when Muhammad he start praying to Mecca. <coughs> um, I don't have, I don't have it to hand at the moment. Okay, I will give you time. Maybe you can call me tomorrow or next next year. No. So, listen, so listen, what, what, what evidence do you want exactly? Okay, no, no. So, listen, when when Muhammad he changed before, his mind about the when Muhammad exactly he changed his mind, and you will find this is when Omar he said to him that what it is happened, and you can go right now and read the interpretation. However, if you look with me here, this is chapter nine, verse twenty-eight. It says, "If you fear poverty, poverty, what is that? Why the Muslim they will fear poverty?" Um. Yeah, because obviously the uh, it is going to be less people to trade with them because you're going to be expelling people Correct. from uh, land. Okay, what yeah. is the solution for that? Uh, you know, Allah will give his bounty, isn't it? He will give them what? His bounty. Bounty, what bounty mean? Allah will give them wealth. He'll take care How of How he give them wealth? Is that the money they will steal from the Christians? No, what will happen is other people will try to attack them and then Allah will make them yeah, victorious. Go. You see, you see how you get yourself busted. It says right away after that, fight against those who don't believe in Allah from the Christian and the Jews. So they did not attack them. So if you fear of poverty, Allah will give you how he will give you. Okay, attack them and take the jizya. And this is exactly what happened that Omar, he said as a solution that we are going to force everybody to pray to Kaaba, not to Jerusalem. And everybody have to do Hajj to Kaaba to make money. 
and the Kaaba became a business. So Allah, He gave them money from two sources, forcing people to do Hajj, as it used to be for people come to do Hajj from all everywhere to the Kaaba by the Kuffar, like Muhammad. And after Islam is the same. The Kaaba before Islam is the same as the Kaaba after Islam. We bring people to do Hajj, go around the Kaaba, kiss the black stone, and give donation. So they broke the, the source, country, yeah, they, they broke the treaty many times. That's why they were. My friend, nobody. They have against. no treaty. Muhammad, he never had a treaty with any Christians. What treaty? He had a treaty with the Jews. Listen, yeah, listen, the listen, the listen. There's no, no, no. The Jews. This is a, 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 a lie. However, look at it. Says, attack those who believe in the following. Not because they are breaking the treaty. No, it says it says why to attack them. And by the way, but do you know that do you know that the Tawbah is the last chapter Muhammad he received in his lifetime? At the end, a Tawbah is the last one. Yeah, this is the last one. Okay, it says fight against those who don't believe, not those who fight you. Read it. Read it. Yeah, yeah, like I say, it's a description of because they don't believe in Allah on the last day, that's why exactly. they're attacking the believers. But they aren't attacking anyone. Stop lying. It doesn't say they are okay. attacking. No, it okay. says no. You mentioned they are you mentioned refusing. No, because they are. It says Congress. here. It says here because they are worshiping a guy. His name is Ezra, as a son of Allah. And the Christian, they say the Messiah is a son of Allah. However, neither the Jews, neither the Christian believe in Allah. And the Jews, they don't. Then nowhere we can find the story of this guy, uh, 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 Azir, not Israel. This is false translation. Uzair, he is a son of Allah. The Jews don't believe there's, a, there's such a guy. It's not exist. And then he says, why? And because of that, and they take beside their Lord, their rabbis. So this is the reason yeah. to kill them. Now, listen, listen, yeah. listen, listen. Yeah. I don't want to waste my time. You said to me that when uh, when uh, Omar, he says, take from the location of Abraham Musalla, he don't mean the Kaaba, correct? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Okay, do you Muslims pray only where Abraham he stand? We pray from every area, so every section. But, but the Quran, according to you, says you pray there. The Quran, the Quran is uh, when when the desire of Muradi Anu had this, and then the revelation came down. My then friend, don't, don't play games. Don't play games. You said to me that this verse here is speaking about take the location of Abraham where he used to stand. This is what you said, correct? That's mean this yeah, is where yeah. the Muslim they should stand. Nowhere else. You cannot stand around the Kaaba. You have to be in that place only. This is what you just saying. No, it doesn't say only. It says just it take says that. that. No, it says that because according to you. It doesn't say no, only. I agree. I agree. No, I agree with you. It doesn't say only because it's not about what you are saying. But now you are the one saying it is only about the place of Abraham. When I ask you, when Omar he said that Allah he sent, as I say, take the station of Abraham. What is the station of Abraham? It is the Kaaba. It's not the Kaaba. You said no. You said the yes, station no. of Abraham is not the Kaaba. Of course, it's not okay. That's mean you have to, to pray. Location. Hold on, hold on. That's mean you have to pray. If this is not meant the Kaaba, that's mean you have to pray only standing in the place of Abraham. And before that date, nobody stand there. Yes, no, you're not making sense. This is supposed <laughs> to be for like you're not making okay. sense because if, if, people, if people, people they are praying, okay, pray, let, yeah. let me make it more, more simple. What was people praying before that date in the station of Abraham? In my house, in my opinion. don't tell me, me have, the, yes, yes, yes or no. Virtue. No, the difference is there were no special virtue, they weren't commanded by Allah, you know, it's good to pray here or take as a place of prayer. They just prayed it because it's just that. Okay, so it's now a, yeah. when yeah. Allah He says, Take it from the station of Abraham, how meet how many meters far away from the Kaaba, the station of Abraham? Um, about 10 meters, maybe something. 10 meters, guys. Allah He says, Pray 10 meters away from the Kaaba. This is what you're saying to us, right? Yeah, but it's not specifically talking about the Kaaba, is it? <laughs> then you was incorrect. You Just go, you're <laughs>